So Picard, season three, you've described it as a little bit of like a passing of the the baton. Uh, so in terms of what fans can expect, uh, you know, how would you explain that statement? Well, it, it does feel like if you're going to tell the final story of the next generation, it feels like you'd want to pass the baton to the next next generation um, and and see what that would be like. In the ways that uh, in the first episode of uh, Next Generation, you got to see Bones walk around the corridors with Data. Um, in this, you have a bit more of an opportunity to see actual children of our Next Generation cast uh, interact with these legacy with these legacy characters. Um, it's it's tremendous uh, dramatic uh, an, uh, opportunity. Um, so, uh, it, it's that it, it, it really is that. And, and hopefully, um, these characters can continue these new characters as well. And how early on in the production phase was it that this idea of having this big reunion was proposed? Because, you know, when the fans heard about it, everyone went absolutely crazy because it just seemed like this would never happen again. Um, it was, I mean, as far as earlier seasons it was never it wasn't planned uh each season was always designed to be its own individual story and um when i came on as the third season they were like well what's there gonna be and i was like guys it has to be this please it has to be this um <laughs> and uh i was lucky that um the stars aligned uh you know um i i think everybody in their heart of hearts really wanted it to happen so um uh I I was blessed with really good fortune of being able to 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 gather everybody for this uh this final adventure. And you just mentioned there it's like everybody <laughs> in their hearts of hearts always wanted something like this to happen again. How much pressure does that put on your shoulders to make sure that it's done <laughs> in the right the, I say the right way? Well, I can tell you I haven't slept well in about 2 years now. Um a tremendous pressure because as a fan as somebody who grew up with these characters, as someone whose first job in Hollywood was a PA who drove Patrick Stewart around on the uh, on the set of uh, Star Trek Insurrection, I was a PA on on uh, uh, a production assistant on Voyager. And then one of my first friends in the was Jerry Ryan uh, on her first year of uh, of Voyager, uh, a seven of nine. It was uh, uh, all the pressure in the world. Uh, to get it right because this may be the last time we see them all all together um so uh it's probably taken several years off my life and added several pounds but i think we did it i i i think we have a satisfying ending here um and uh but it'll be up to you the audience to decide and i hope you all like it Bob, and before I let you go, I do have to ask now, did you tell Patrick about ever you being his driver before? And did he remember I, you at all? I have no, I don't, I don't think he, I, I don't think he remembers, but uh, yeah, I did, I did tell him. He, what was he, his reaction? He gave a, ver a smile. I, I think he liked it. <laughs> oh, I love it. Well, listen, I wish you all the best with season three. I Thank look forward so to much. seeing how it all unfolds. Uh, I hope you like it. Thank you.